Starting on the next example, I noticed that these two have already been done, so let's cancel that out. Let's erase that, scratch that out. And let's do these two problems. So let me give you a moment to write that down. 2x plus 4y equals negative 4. 3x plus 5y equals negative 3. Again, we are doing mini 3, 2 by hand, and we're trying to find the solution by hand. Okay, so let's do it. If we try to add, we get 5, and then here we get 9. That's why we say this is not ready for elimination. So what do we do? We try to figure out which term we want to get rid of. Well, I decided for this one that I want to do the x's. If you want to do the y's, you can. Um, but follow along with me on this example. We're going to do the y term on the next example. So let's do this. We cannot just add. Again, that's 5 and that's 9. So we have to make it ready for canceling. We're going to multiply each equation, the entire equation, by some number. Well, if I want the x's to be ready for canceling, I can make them both 6. Um, that's the lowest number that I could make 2 become and then 3 become, and they match. Yes, you could make them 12, but we're looking for the lowest number. Um, I could make this 12 by multiplying that by 6. I can make this 12 by multiplying it by 4, and they would match. But I want to use small numbers. So I'm going to multiply this by 3, and then this by 2. Now, before I finish, if I keep them both positive, they won't cancel. So I need to make one of them negative. It doesn't matter which one. Okay. These problems get a little difficult, so let me review. I picked which term I wanted to cancel. Either this, the x term, or the y term. We chose the x's. So all I really did was switch the 3 here, the 2 here, and made one of them negative. And you're going to practice this without me after this problem. So that gives me 6x plus 12y equals negative 12. That gives me minus 6x minus 10y equals 6. Now I am ready for adding. So this cancels just like we wanted it to. Now y'all have to be careful because if you make this 6 and this 6 and then you cancel and which means it adds to 12, that's not accurate. You have to make one of them negative. Okay, so then this is 2y equals negative 6. We divide by 2, and we get y is negative 3. So, negative 3 in the y spot. Now, plug negative 3, because that's what this is when it cancels. And you simplify y equals negative 3. Plug that into the original spot for y. So, I'm going to choose the top equation. x that becomes minus 12 so now we add 12 to both sides that gives us 8 divide by 2 and we get 4 so now I'm going to use the calculator and use menu 3 2 to check my work So I want to add a calculator, and we do menu, 3, 2, and we type in 2x plus 4y equals negative 4, 3x plus 5y equals negative 3. Okay, I don't like the way this calculator is giving me an answer, so I'm going to change the settings on it real quick. 
Not that you would know how to do this, but document settings. Let's make this normal and press OK because I don't want to start this video over. Press Enter again. All right, there we go. So four and no, you're not. You don't have to know how to do it. I just did, but I changed it because that's in um, scientific notation. So scratch that. But this is the answer: four negative three. And that's what we have, 4, negative 3. So we did do it correctly. Just to review again, I want to make the x terms cancel. So let's make the number in front, meaning the coefficient, that's the number in front of the letter. Let's make it cancel. Make them the same. If we make this one 6, this one negative 6, they will go away when you add. How did I do that? This number went there, this number went there, and then I made one of them negative. I'm done. Multiply to each one. Multiply to each one. It gives you these two equations here. Cancel the x term. Gives you 2y. Add this together. Gives you negative 6. Divide by 2. We have y is negative 3. Plug negative 3 in the y spot. Multiply and get minus 12. Add 12, you get 8. Divide by 2, x is 4. Let's try the next one. Instead of the x term, I want to do the y term. But again, this is not ready for elimination. So, if we're focusing on that, how can we make them um, ready for counseling? Well, I can make them both 20 if I multiply this times 5 and then this times 4 and then make one of them negative so it will cancel so let's do that and I'm going to choose the top one just because it doesn't matter which one you make negative that becomes negative 10x minus 20y equals positive 20 let's check our work this times this is negative 10x this times this is minus 20y this times this is positive 20. And then this times this is 12. This times this is 20y. This times this is minus 12. Now we add, and a negative 10x plus 12x is 2x. And it cancels. 20 minus 12 is 8 and x equals 4. Now we take 4 and we plug it in. 2, I don't know, 4y equals negative 4. The 4 goes here. And 8 plus 4y equals negative 4. Subtract 8 on both sides. 4y equals negative 12. Divide by 4 and y equals negative 3. If we write that in point form, 4, negative 3. And we have completed. We know that's the answer because this is the exact same problem we did here in this example. As you can see, they match.